Hi guys, Monica here. I hope you all are doing great. So in today's video, we are going to learn about an element which is collection filter. So if you want to know how you can use collection filter, how you can take benefits of it and what is the use of it, then keep on watching. But before that, if you have not subscribed to this channel yet, a click on the subscribe button below will be awesome. Now let's dive straight into the video. In today's example, our client wants uh, to show two lists of records, two lists of account records, one with the billing billing country uh, India and second with the billing country France. OK, so without collection filter, what will happen and with collection filter, how we can achieve this? We will learn in this example. OK, so we will take a screen flow because we want to show the list of data like we want to add the data table in that. Let's add free form. OK, so just imagine uh, we don't have collection filter now how we can achieve this. And one more thing, uh, we want a list of all accounts as well, be it uh, with billing country India, with billing country UAE, with any billing country. OK, so if we don't use collection filter, how we can achieve this? You have two options. First option will be you can have three get records element in one. Uh, the billing country will be India. Second, the billing country will be France. And because we want all the accounts as well, then the third will be without any condition getting all the accounts. OK, but that is a big no, no. You can't have three DML operations on one object when you can achieve with just one get record element. OK, and now the second option will be you will get all the accounts without any condition. Then you will loop through the accounts. You will check with the decision element if the country is India, if the country is France, and then you will uh, work through it. Okay, but now we have collection filter, so we are canceling the loop statement, we are canceling the decision element. Uh, we can direct uh, get the billing country India and get the billing country France with the collection element. Now, let me show you how. Uh, let's take a get record element first and get all the accounts because we want all the accounts as well. And in object, Let's add account. So what is the use of collection filter? Collection filter will filter out your collection of records without touching the uh, source collection. OK, so in the collection record, we will add the billing country uh, India or France, but without touching the source uh, get records in which we will have all the accounts without any condition. So let's take none. And all accounts and done. OK, so now in this get record element, we have all the accounts that is in our Salesforce org. Now what we'll do is we will add a collection filter. Let's name it billing country India. And here it asks you which collection filter you want to add this filter to. OK. Uh, that means which uh, get records element or which collection variable you want to filter out. OK, so in our condition, we will add our get record element in which we have all the accounts. Now here we will add the billing country uh, condition, which is billing country equals to India. OK, and let's click on done. So now in this collection, without using any other get records element, we have all the accounts with the billing country India. Now let's take another collection filter element because we want billing country France as well. Billing country France. And in this collection element, now you can see we have two collections because one is get record and one is the collection filter that we have added. We will take the get record, the source element. And in the condition, we will add billing country France. OK, and save it. Now we have two collection filters in which we have a uh, billing country France and billing country India. And also we have all the accounts in this get record element. So without taking three get record elements and without looping through the accounts, we have achieved our condition already. OK, now what we want to do now, the customer wants to show two list of records with billing country France and India. So for that, let's take a screen element. And here we will take section. Drag it here and. Make it two column in one. We will add a data table with first collection filter, which was billing country India. And in second, we will add France. OK, let's name it India. Billing country India, use it as label. If you do not know how to use data table, you can uh, watch the previous example video in our playlist. 
okay so now here in the source collection we will add this collection filter which is billing country india view only because we just want to show the records now let's configure the columns which means which column we want to show which column we want to display let's add account name okay and done and let's add another data table here in which we will show records with billing country France. Okay. Use label as the table title. And here we will add another collection filter which we have added with name billing country France. View only again. And in this we will add the column name. Okay. Let's click on done. Let's give the screen a name. Show countries. And done. Okay. Uh, let's drag it here. And that is it. That is our flow. That is our requirement which is done without looping through the account. Without adding too much elements like the decision element, uh, three get records element or a loop element. This is just a simple example. We took a get record element with all the accounts. Then we just added two other uh, collection filters in which we have filtered this get record element okay but we have not touched this this is the source element this is uh, how it was it has all the accounts without any filter and in those two we have our filters accordingly now after that we have taken a screen in which we have shown two data tables with billing country india and billing country france okay now let's just save it and see our output collection filter example let's name it and save we are not adding this to anywhere we are just debugging it and checking that uh, this is working fine or not if you want you can add it to a lightning page as well or lightning app let's run it okay so here's our screen in which we have uh, the accounts with billing country India and the accounts with billing country France. Okay. Let's do one thing. Let's change one account uh, country to France and check if this is working fine. Let's go to accounts. like this brandy is taking too much time today um, which two account for the t3 factory 3 and acme 2 so let's make the t3 factory one with billing country france okay um, let's go to billing address, edit it, and here we will add France and save it. Let's go to our flow again and run again. Here you can see now the T3 factory 1 is also there because the country is uh, updated to France. Okay, so this was today's example. Uh, I hope you learned what is collection filter. Collection filter is very very important in my uh, opinion because it cuts down your loop element, cut down your decision elements and uh, also you don't have to do multiple DML queries uh, if you have one get record element which have all the data that you want in other get record elements right. So you can just uh, filter those get record element and you don't want to get all the records again and again and that is a good thing right uh, i hope you like today's example i hope you found this useful i'll see you super soon in my next video till then bye bye take care and keep learning